he is a stress bro please let me go first let me go first son of a bitch if he knows what he's doing i'm screwed now because he'll just pull my occultist forward right but if i can pull his occultist forward first it's gonna be brilliant for me here's the book as well shit he has a very similar setup to mine he has a crusader not a hellion he has a um, plague doctor not um not the abo yeah yeah he that's that's smart that's the only reasonable thing to do it's really I should have foreseen this, because this really fucks up my formation as well. Hey, get fucked. So he's screwed as well, because he can use only one ability from here. So he basically succeeded at ruining each other's formations. And he fucking misses Bo because he went fast. That's brilliant. Okay, I need to drop the... Um, wait, where, where is it? Uh, There's the bolster, right? Before he does too much stress damage to my guys. I mean, that's a step ahead for me. At least, Bellow. Yeah, so he does the weird thing here. Which is Bellow. I don't understand why he does this before popping the... Um, maybe he doesn't have it. The rampart. No, he should. Okay, yeah. Uh, good luck hitting my stuff from here. <sighs> yeah, I need Hellion items. Like, I would like to have some speci Hellion specific items that are focused around uh, actual... Um, focus does this remove stress? No. Oh boy. I mean, I can just move forward from here. That's not a big issue because I just waste the pull back, the pushback, and I don't need the pushback right now. So that's absolutely fine for me. I have the curse on the occultist, so he doesn't do much there either, I guess. Let's see what our boy does from here. I'm curious about the. Like whether it actually at which point does it actually pay off to use Bellow? Shit, he got a crit. Lucky bitch. Uh, I just have to live with that, right? But he has like horror on everybody as well, so um, I have it going for me. Okay, so I'm just gonna go for it here. To I'm gonna just screw screw their accuracy to the biggest possible degree. Um, I should probably push the Crusader out. I should have done this already, though. That's too late now. He picks a Crusader. I see he's gonna do the scroll thingy. Yeah, yeah. So that was gonna happen. I should have pushed him out. That was my bad. That was entirely my mistake, though. Please fly away, bitch. Yes. Okay, so he's kind of toast for the next turn, though. That's good for me. I think I'm doing more stress than he is doing to me. Also, my occultist can now do the nice stuff, right? So it's actually like his pull with the, his occultist didn't do much yet, unless he pulls me in right now. If he does it now, then I'm in a little bit of trouble. Why did you drop retribution, you crazy son of a bitch? What the hell was that? What are you thinking? Like, why, why did you do that? I, mean, I think I'm doing better than he is. In terms of, you know, stress damage, right? What the hell can you do with this guy now? You have to move around, like, you have to move him back. Yeah. And still useless, by the way. It's just two turns of being useless for him. And you get bellowed, which is a huge debuff again. Like, oh, you're already testing for resolve now on the doctor. Perfect. Reeling, gasping, taken over the edge. Eighty-nine, eight hundred, yeah. So we get a reset of turns and go again, right? So it's the first turn again. He's gonna focus my. What? Oh no, he's just doing the abyssal artillery here. That's okay. I'm fine with this.
There's gonna be second broken character at this point. He's 99 now. Oh, uh, this is bad because I, if I, if I, if I had actually pushed him to a hundred, he would have been in so much trouble now. Mm. Defender. Haha, <laughs> get fucked. Oh god, that's great. I mean, my, I get like pushed here as well. I get to, I get to a hundred here. Oh righty. I need to change their names. Like seriously, I do need to change their names. He has the Crusader turn, who is gonna be useless, and he has a turn on the Plague Doctor, who is also not gonna do much. Unless he, I mean, he has to do the Lance Church first. Like he has to do Holy Lance Church probably on my. Um, yeah, he's gonna do it. Like he's gonna charge the Occultist, and he's gonna use the. Oh, beautiful. Okay, and now I can actually pull the Plague Doctor in again. So that's gonna fuck his plan. Oh no, I can't. Actually, I can't. I can pull Two the. Two streams in one day. Yep. You absolute mad lad. And I was like. Honestly, if I if I'm to be absolutely frank with you, uh, right now I just will get views. Right, uh, it's week. It's like before the weekend. It's Friday evening, um, and the game is super popular right now. So I just kind of am doing this for a purpose, right? On a purpose. Um, because this just allows me to grow the stream a bit. You know what I mean, right? It's just. Is is good for growth, so I'm um, I'm doing this. I'm a bit, I'm actually very also very excited about the game though. So yeah, I'm enjoying the I'm enjoying the gameplay because like I I tend to actually do this a lot. Like when Tyranny came out, for instance, like for the very first time, like when I was playing Tyranny, I completed the game in two days. I was playing it for I think twelve twelve ah, sorry twelve hours a day basically. Um, for this, plus I'm not teaching this weekend. I usually teach on weekends. I'm not teaching this weekend, so I'm really happy to uh, to stream that because of this. Wait, no, no, no! Please, yo, don't waste the turn. Perfect. Okay, come here. Wait, I didn't. He resisted the move. Oh shit! I know what I did wrong. He is guarded. Shit. Oh my god! I should have just done that. The freaking uh, mandibles, whatever is this called. Uh, Abyssal Artillery. The freaking mandible sounds better though. Mm. I have to guard him now, I have to just guard him. So. Oh no, don't be paranoid, don't. Okay, God, Lord, he did this, like he did the random move, and he did exactly what I wanted to do here. This is absolutely crazy. What the fuck? Uh, that's really good, cause I could have easily lost this fight because of this. Oh no, I mean this is good actually, because he used this move on the occultist already, so he's just, oh my God. It moved the worst possible spot. So I'm lucky here. This is very lucky for me, in fact. Do I stun or do I just... I think I'll go for more damage, more stress damage. Look. This guy's about to break what as do well. You think about leper in PvP? Shit, leper is shit. <laughs> Sorry. It's my personal point of view, though, so you might you might disagree, obviously. I I really dislike leper. I think it's the probably one of the worst classes you can have. Sorry, mate, if if you if you feel offended, but I just can't see the place for the leper on any team. 
uh, because I mean the, the meta the, okay there are two meta teams right now two meta types of teams one is basically uh, mark and there are like a, quite a few varieties there is a, like a shield shield breaker variety a bounty hunter variety uh, musketeer variety there are quite a few potential builds you can do anyway and um, so that's build number one build number two is what you can see here that like a couple of varieties of the stress builds and leper doesn't fit in any of those and uh, the mark will just will always out damage the leper and leper is also very easy to outmaneuver you can just push him back to the third or fourth place and he's LOL gonna be useless you sadly can take an equally a strong hero and be way less susceptible to being moved yeah so it's like i i feel yeah there's there are just so many better choices than the leper right now sadly on that note what is the best hero that fits in every build uh occultist because he can be in basically every single build you can, you, you would be using. I feel Akaltis is the strongest. Although you can obviously just, you know... I don't think there's a... I think Iron Akaltis you can just... You just need specific heroes for specific builds. That's what I would say. How did he focus me so hard? He dropped like... He dropped a lot of, initi a lot of, uh, of stress here. I mean, I'm winning this uh, in terms of the stress battle, right? But... Still, I mean, yeah, heart attack. Oh, no. the true test. Hold fast or expire. He cannot activate this guy because he's gonna lose stress. I mean, I'm about to die here as well. If he focuses me really hard here with the. But I, he can't, right? He can't hit this. He can't touch this. <laughs> That's crazy. He hasn't still stressed out my, uh, my barbarian. I mean, my hellion. Here's a 21. Oh my god, he's gonna die. Oh boy. And he's gonna he's gonna take stress damage and die for this. Oh, whoo. So we're winning against another stress build. Really nice. This is such a great freaking game now for me. Look at me fly. Um, he is in trouble, but he's guarded still, so it's actually okay. Your hurt is gonna burst. No shit. Leper is only good if you use revenge and guard him round one. Yeah, but it's like that's a lot you have to basically sacrifice for this, isn't it? Oh, he's gonna get my resolve here. That's not great. Uh, that was a mistake. I couldn't. I don't want to pass my turn here because this means that I just kind of give up a lot. But at the same time, she cannot use anything now because she is stuck in row two. Okay, heart attack. Get fucked, man. Oh no, he's dead. Oh fuck, I made a mistake. I didn't realize he was so low. I couldn't heal this anyway, but that's a real issue now for me. Shit. So I can potentially still lose this, I guess. Okay, he got heart attacked. From mm, I wanted to kind of stress him, yeah. Okay, he passes, perfect. And 193 stress here. And he can't do anything now, he has one, yeah, he has 18 here. So, he takes 18 stress damage, Eight, 182. I don't think he can kill me, right? He's just screwed. He missed. The will to fight <laughs> yes, guys, we did it. 
We have cocked this guy successfully. He has been cocked. He surrenders. Nice. So three people alive still. Excellent. Excellent. Good shit.